In this video, we are going to talk about fish. That's right, fish! Fish are a type of animal that lives in the water. Look at all these fish in the water. That's where they live. Fish live in the water. Now, that's not the only thing that makes a fish a fish. While most animals in the water are fish, not all of them are. But how do you know if an animal in the water is a fish or not a fish? Well, there are two major things that all fish have in common. The first thing is that all fish are vertebrates. Do you know what a vertebrate is? Hmm, it's a good question. Yeah, vertebrates are animals that have a spine, like birds, reptiles, amphibians, mammals, and of course, fish. Fish are vertebrates, meaning all fish have a spine. What are some invertebrates or animals without a spine that live in the water? How about the octopus? An octopus does not have a spine. Since an octopus does not have a spine, an octopus is an invertebrate. That means an octopus is not a fish. Sorry, buddy, you are not a fish. All fish have a spine. All fish are vertebrates, but you are an invertebrate. You are super cool, but you're just not a fish. So vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrates are animals with a spine, like fish. Invertebrates are animals without a spine, like this octopus. Wow, the octopus looks really happy that he doesn't have a spine. <laughs> of course, if an animal doesn't have a spine, that means it can't be a fish because all fish have a spine. Look at this creature. What is this? Yeah, a jellyfish. Just like the octopus, jellyfish are invertebrates too. That means even though they are animals that live in the water, jellyfish are not fish. Now wait a second. You mean even though jellyfish have fish in the name, they are not really fish? That's right! Jellyfish are not fish because they do not have a spine. All fish have a spine, so whoever named jellyfish was trying to trick us, but we are not going to fall for it. Now the second thing fish have in common is that all fish use gills to breathe. That's right. These are the gills of a tuna. They look really interesting, don't they? They are pretty cool. Here is how they work. Gills remove the oxygen from water that enters the fish's mouth and releases the water back out. Gills work kind of like our lungs do, except instead of breathing air like we do to get oxygen, fish get their oxygen from the water. Gills are very important to fish. You see, without gills, fish are not able to live in the water. It's true. It is the only way fish are able to get the oxygen they need. Oh, Clarence, you really are a fish. You have a spine, which means you are a vertebrate, and you have gills, which is how you breathe in the water. You have to have both in order to be a fish. Well, now that we know what makes a fish a fish, let's look at more facts about these incredible water animals. Like this, there are about 30,000 different types of fish, and scientists are discovering more and more every single year. Maybe one of you will grow up and discover new types of fish that we never knew existed. Wouldn't that be cool? Fish come in all sizes and shapes and have very different characteristics depending on the species. Think of this, 
A shark is a fish. Wow, did you know that? A shark is a fish. And a goldfish is a fish too. Fish are a wide ranging animal family, but remember, they all have a spine and they all have gills. And I like to think, you know, maybe the goldfish and the shark could be friends, maybe. No. No, yeah, they. No, they wouldn't be friends. <laughs> they wouldn't be friends. That goldfish would be a snack. Hey, this is cool. Just like amphibians and reptiles, fish are cold blooded. Huh, what does cold blooded mean? Do you know? What does cold blooded mean? Yeah, cold blooded means their bodies do not control their own temperature. The temperature of a fish, for example, is similar to its environment because a fish is cold blooded. We're different. We are warm blooded, so we don't know what that is really like, but we do know that fish, amphibians, and reptiles are all cold blooded. Their bodies do not control their own temperature. Now, this is kind of a sad fact. Did you know fish can feel pain and get stressed like we do? Yeah, it's easy to think that fish are always carefree, they just swim around all day, but fish can feel pain and get stressed just like us humans. Oh no, Carl! Don't get stressed out! Deep breathing, Carl! Deep breathing, that's right! Oh, deep breathing, hey! Hey Carl, you're not deep breathing, are you? Fish are fun to watch and take care of, even Carl, even Carl. Many people have fish as pets. They get to watch these incredible animals explore their own little water world each day. Do you have fish that you take care of? Okay. Fish are great. We hope you had a fun time learning about them. These water animals with a spine and with gills are a wonderful part of the animal kingdom. They are also tasty to eat. <laughs> Don't tell Clarence. He likes me. He has no idea. No, no, don't. Don't tell him. Don't spoil it. We get along right now. You know, Clarence and I are friends. No, don't tell him. Okay, okay, fine. Tell him I eat fish. All right, because another fact is that fish don't speak English, okay? They don't speak English, all right? Or anything else. <laughs>